everyone in this video i will explain the date function in spark sql i have created the table colleges uh, from the file which is already present in databricks it has uh, the field names like date state county city this id college cases and you can see the data here which is there in the table the next example i am uh, uh, trying to show uh, <coughs> the two date function using this uh, two date function you can uh, get the values let's run it yeah so what i am doing here i am uh, trying to filter out the records uh, based on a particular date so i am converting to date under then date and then providing the value so in this way one can use this two date for two date function let's go to the next one yes in this case also i am uh, using that uh, two date function but uh, i am creating the date using make underscore date function then i am providing the year month and date so manually we can provide the date values here in this way in this case uh, if you want to show or find out the number of days the difference between that uh, date you, you can use that uh, date difference function uh, the uh, syntax is uh, date diff then uh, <coughs> it's uh, 12th march and uh, 10th march and uh, if you run it you will see the date difference is two dates the number of uh, dates next is uh, to get the year year part from uh, from the date you can see uh, the date is uh, 26th february 2021 and uh, we extracted the year part only so the year uh, came around 2021 similarly you can get the year month and day part from the date using alternate method uh, you can use the extract year from date then extract month from date extract day from date in this way also you can uh, get the year part month part and date part from the date field you can see here so uh, 26th february 2021 so year is 2021 month is uh, here 0 2 so it uh, came 2 and the day is 26 and this is another uh, method to get the year month and uh, day part using the date underscore part function you can see here the syntax date underscore part then year that is from the field similarly you can get month and day you can see here 2021 is the year 2 is the month 26 is the day next is you can get the quarter uh, quarter from the date um, in uh, three ways you, yeah, you can use the quarter function quarter then the field then extract quarter from the field then a date part quarter from the field so as you can see 26th february comes in quarter one so value is one and next uh, you can get uh, the day of year and day of month using this uh, function day of year this is the date field day of month from the date field in this way you can get you can see here uh, 26th february 2021 and the number of days uh, for that year that is uh, 31 in january plus 26 in february so 31 plus 26 so day of year equal to 57 year and uh, for uh, it is 26th day in february so day of month came 26 and uh, using this date data add function you can add the year or you can uh, subtract the year 
add a month, subtract a month, add a date, add a day, subtract a day from that uh, date and you can add a quarter and subtract uh, the number of quarters using this function. You can see uh, the date is uh, 26 February 2021. So we are uh, subtracting one year. That's why it became instead of 21, it became 2020. So here future, like we are adding one year. So it became 2022. We are uh, subtracting one year, it became 2020. Similarly, you can add a month. This is February 26, 26 February. So it became 26th March. Minus one month is 26th January. So like that, you can get or you can add a year, month, day, quarter using this function. Or if you want to add uh, add months for a particular hard coded uh, date value, you can do that. Add months, then uh, provide the value, and then uh, one the number of months if you want to add. In this case, uh, you can see here. I added uh, twenty four uh, plus one twenty four uh, February. So it became 24 March as we are adding one month. And then uh, to get the current month, this is the function current underscore date. So current as it is March 12th March 2024. So the date uh, it written 12th uh, 12th March 2024. So in this way, uh, you can use the date functions in uh, Spark SQL. In data picks. Thank you.